it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to Wonderlands, created by Welfare. It's been 84 years. It has indeed been a while. Welfare's been waiting for this spotlight for 12 months. I'm so sorry, Welfare. <laughs> If he quested it 12 months ago, I kept forgetting it. You would think with him being my guy in the chat, official partner of the channel, he does all the thumbnails, he helped me with all the rebranding of the channel. You'd think I would have pulled this forward for him, but I completely forgot. So I'm so sorry, Welfare. But today's park is a PlayStation 5 park, and the description reads, Welcome to Wonderlands. Please have game sounds on for best experience and ride all coasters in a central seat view apart from Dragon's Fury. The park can be viewed day and night. Big thanks to the following for their workshop creations. Mavs Fan 4 for the samurai sign and custom font. NH99 for the Buddha statue. And Green J Bird for the custom font. So I'm a huge fan of Welfare's work. Not only with everything that he did for the channel, making it look so professional, which I'm sure you can all agree with, but also his parks as well that I previously spotlighted, including Dream World. The two parks that I previously spotlighted were both fantastic, so I'm super excited to finally, 12 months later, get into this park. So without further ado, let's have a look at it, shall we? Right, so here we are at the park entrance. Beautiful sightline just as you come out. You can see the Giga Coaster just off to our left. You've got the Ferris wheel as the focal point right in the center of the park. I can see a B&M coaster over there. We've got the Vacoma Family Coaster, Dragon Ride over there. We've got a log flume. You can see a lot of the attractions in the park just as you come out of the entrance tunnel, really building that anticipation. And then you've got all the sound effects of the road down here with all the cars. All the hustle and bustle of a busy street just outside a theme park, as you would expect. We've got the bus stop just here. So we have Marvelous Realm, which has been cancelled by Yan BK. We have Dream Worlds, which is due now by Welfare. Eden Springs, very late by Iron Matty. I see what you've done here. So these are all references to how far the parks were along at the time when you did this. So Marvelous Realms, Yan had just cancelled that. Dream Worlds obviously was your last park sent, why it's due now. Eden Springs is very late. I'm not sure that will ever get done. Lost Fortress was completed at the time by Dragonborn McQueen. And the Empire was just about to be finished by Elbrus. And then we have Four Seasons by NH99. Hotel by Industrioplex. Wild Winds by M&J Games. And Auron Meadows created by Diamondite. So very popular names within the console community. I believe I've spotlighted a park by every single one of them. At least once, if not more than once really like this little bus stop that you've just done here got a policewoman waiting for the bus where's her police car must have broke down she must be on the way to work that's where it is but yeah great little entrance way just here very similar to the ones that you've done in your previous parks just following that same tradition of the road layout just in front of the parks great job really really like that i especially like this little divider in the center here just with the planters going down yeah, I love that. And as we come down to the park entrance, we've got Wonderlands. Nice triggered effects on that, just going from the white to the blue. That looks ace. So many triggered effects in this park. Can't wait to see them all. I know that Welfare spends a lot of time on his triggered effects. So, scan our code. Beep. There we go. And in we come. So even as you come into the park, you can see so many different attractions off. But we are going to go left, of course, because we always will. You see that Giga just over there. Now, I now know that that is a Giga Coaster and not a Giga Hyper Coaster. So I really am trying to work on my coaster knowledge with the help of Jan BK and Corvus. I keep quizzing them all the time. Feedback that I got a couple of months back was, Matty, I really like your spotlights, but it would be nice if you learnt a little bit more about the coasters, just so you knew what it was that you were talking about. So I took that on board, and I really have been trying to build up my coaster knowledge this past six months, and I now know that that is a Giga, not a Giga Hyper, and the reason for that is it's because it's over 300 foot. So a Giga Coaster would be 300 foot plus, and a Giga Hyper would be 200 foot plus. So there you go. Learn something new every day. But we're not going to go that way. I'm actually going to fight the urge to go left. And it's really hard. Because I really, really want to go that way. But 
with them being the main attractions of the park, I'm going to come back to them at the very end. So I'm going to fight every urge in my body and go forwards. Here you go, water feature. There you go. I'll distract myself with that. Look at this. Just the leaping fountains here. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Go again. I want to see it again. There we go. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah, this is the part of the video where Matty just spends 15 minutes looking at a water feature, because why not? I love the arches that you've done in the centre. That's using the B&M dive coaster track, from what I can see, and then using them as an archway. That's fantastic. We'll come down here. Don't go left, Matty. Don't go left. Don't even look that way. Don't tease yourself. We're going to pretend that there's not even a left turn there. There you go. Look at that giant Ferris wheel above the treetops. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Water feature. Love it. We've got the launch coaster there. So the Mac rides the launch torque coaster. But we're going to come around here. And let's work up to the first area of the park. So Lost Kingdom. So we have multiple themed areas in the park. And we've got this big adventure area here. Love this entrance here. Really nice way of separating the areas of the park. Really do feel like you know, you're stepping into a different area. Feels like a different park as you walk through here. And look at this flat ride skin. Wow. I can never say that. Uh, Ramesses? Ramesses Revenge? Ramimis? I can never say that. Never can. Never have been able to. But I love that flat ride skin. That is incredible. The way that you've got the stones kind of curving all the way around the back. Yeah, great job. Great, great job with that. Then using some of the Ghostbusters pieces I can see as well. Oh, you've got a... Oh, so it's like the Ripsaw from Alden Towers. One of my favourite ever rides. I used to love Ripsaw. Yeah, great job. Great use of triggered effects once again. Really nice theming. But we'll hop back onto the path again. And we'll work our way down here. So we've got two coasters down this way. Uh, we've got a B&M and I think it's a Hop the Tracks coaster, I think. No, we'll have to see when we get down there. I can hear a chicken. Why can I hear a chicken going? It doesn't really fit an adventure area, but I can hear a chicken. I can hear the snakes, but I can also hear a cockerel. That's a bit bizarre. What's a cockerel doing here? So we've got a refreshment area. So you can just see over into the sci-fi area or the space center. Nice little seating area. Wow, that gives a great shot. So many rides that you can see from here. You can see the Giga all the way off in the background. That's the reason we didn't go on it at the start, because it goes around the entire back of the park, and I really didn't want to ruin it for ourselves. It would have just given too much away. But yeah, this is a great little seating area. You've got the shops and the toilets just there. And let's hop back down the stairs again. And work our way around here. So we've got one of the magic carpet rides. Fits in quite nicely into this area. Yep, great job. I like how the path goes underneath, or certainly gives the illusion that you can walk underneath at least. I can see obviously that the path does not connect, but it kind of gives that illusion that it does. So we'll turn down here. We'll work our way to the first ride of the park. So we've got this B&M seating coaster. And let's have a look at this. So we've got the lockers just to the right. So put your stuff in there just before you go on the ride. The lockers are all themed to the area. Great job. Quite blended in nicely. And let's walk down the queue path, shall we? Oh, that's cool. Don't jump them ropes. Whatever you do, don't jump the ropes. You will die. Children, don't jump over them. Keep hold of your kids. I mean, to be honest, children probably wouldn't be going on this ride anyway. What a queue line. So interactive. 
It's like one giant death trap. I'm not sure how safe this is. I'm going with it. Because it's cool. Oh man, look at this station. Using the rope fence piece just going over the top. And then you've got the scavola going over the top. That's great. Yeah. And then just using the ropes on the side. Yeah, really, really nice station. I think that's great. Right, so we have the first ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy. I think that was brilliant. What a fantastic first ride of the park to go on. And without a doubt, your coaster building has come on so much from the last two parks. Whilst I was a huge fan of the past two parks that you did, feedback that I did have was with regards to your coasters. And I can see how much you've taken that on board and brought that forward into this park because that was, in my opinion, the best ride that you've done so far and we've got multiple rides to go on in this park so yeah great benchmark really nice theming all the way around had some brilliant elements i really like the hang times at the top of these loops it was not too slow but just enough hang time there to make it really exciting yeah great ride great coaster and ironically i was saying just a few moments ago how my coaster knowledge is getting so much better and then i go and say this is a bnm seating coaster no it's not it's a bnm invert matty bnm invert i couldn't see i thought it was one of the two-seater ones it was only when i actually got to it i realized it was a four-seater so a bnm invert but i'm getting there all right leave me alone still better than it was six months ago i'm learning <laughs> all right let's hop out the exit and we have a hop the gaps over here so not a very common coaster that we go on it's one of the more rare ones that we see in spotlights we have the forgotten temple i love the look of this queue line the queue line goes back on itself doesn't it from what i can see so we come down here go up the stairs and then go back on ourselves over the top that's unique that's very different i really like that you got a temple just off over there. Look at the theming around here. That looks awesome. Right, let's hop on the ride and then we can appreciate all the theming afterwards. So next ride, let's do it. Enjoy.
Now, whilst I haven't been on many of these in spotlights, that is by far my favourite one that I've ever ridden in the game. That was sensational. The theming around it was spot on. I really like the layout. I like how compact it is. It's quite a long coaster, but it feels quite compact. Just going in and out of the temple, the way that it comes back on itself here and you can see the ride going around you. It was just brilliant. Great use of triggered effects. Fantastic. I loved that ride. Great, great job. Right, so let's hop out the exit and we'll start working our way out of the adventure area and we'll go over into the sci-fi area or the space area. So we come round the back of the restaurant, which is actually a temple. I didn't even realise that. Yep. It's supposed to be an Aztec temple with a restaurant on top of it. I didn't even pick up on that earlier on. Nice one, Matty. So, let's come through into the space centre. The way that you go from one area to the next, it feels quite smooth. It feels quite natural. Because this is very heavily themed as adventure and then you've got a very contrasting mix with a sci-fi theme but it works really well yeah great job so you can't have a sci-fi area without that ride it's like the law and of course the pirate ship but the nasa ship instead again it's the law if you're doing a sci-fi area you have to have these two rides and an enterprise there must be an enterprise around here somewhere there you go, there's an Enterprise. See, there you go. You just put the, them three flat rides down and you're like, there you go, sci-fi, done. That's all you need to do. But nice simple theming around them. Nothing too much going on, but I don't think you really needed to do much more theming. Just putting a little bit of fencing around it. You can see the coaster just next to us going past. But yeah, integrated really well. And the main attraction of this area being the B&M dive coaster. Whereabouts is it? Can we see it go past? Ah, we just missed it. Ah, where's another one? Come on, come on. I want, I want to watch one before we go on the ride. We'll carry on and we'll, and we'll try and keep an eye out for it. But I love this area. Where are you, coaster? I'm taking my time on purpose. There it is. There we go. We can watch it. I can hear one of the sci-fi guys. There you go. From the robots. That's quite unusual for a B&M dive coaster to have the lift tilt and then just go straight across and then straight down rather than any kind of turning. It's quite unique for a dive. Don't tend to see that very often, if at all. Oh, love that. Looks super smooth. That looks great. That looks really, really good. I'm looking forward to go on that. So we've got milkshakes just over here. All the shops, of course, themed to the sci-fi. We have Supernova Restaurant. Let's just have a quick look inside there. Is it decorated inside? Mm, oh, hang on. We've got some stairs. What's up here? Oh, what's this? Ah, right. Oh, that's the, that's the other flat ride you have to use in a sci-fi area. You have to put that in. I like how that's integrated. That's quite hidden. I very almost missed that. So, zero G. Yep. Great implementation. And as we come down here, so we've got a Looney Bloons hat, Fantastic, and Just a Memento. And let's start working our way around here. I love the fact that the coaster's coming around you. Stand here and watch it go past. And we have Black Hole. Oh, I'm excited for this. So there's the exit. Got some more lockers just there. And let's have a walk down this queue path, shall we? When Planet Coaster did the music, this this piece of music that you're listening to right now, they totally ripped off Star Wars, didn't they? It genuinely does sound like Star Wars. Even now, a couple of years down the line, I have to sometimes stop and think, is that Star Wars? No, it's not. It's just Planet Coaster's interpretation of it. I like what you've done here. So the lockers drop off. So you can put them on the one side as you get on the ride. And then when you get off, obviously get them from out the other side. That's a nice little touch. 
Great little touch of realism right there. Oh, hello, Mr. Robot. Oh, this is unique. Wow. Great station. Oh, look at all that. Right, let's not spoil it for ourselves. Let's go on the ride, shall we? So, next ride. Enjoy, everybody. I think that was a great dive coaster. It was really smooth. I love the sight lines that you get from the top of here. You've got the camera just at the top of there, thinking of the realism. But just at the top of here, you can see off all towards the Asian area. You can see over the entire sci-fi area. And then just looking down here. Oh, you can just listen to him. Go! Yeah, absolutely fantastic great ride i like this end bit here just going around the water feature i thought that was really smooth just a fantastic coaster again yeah without a shadow of a doubt your coaster building has come on so much so so much from your first two parks in both of them parks i was saying oh you just you need a little bit of smoothing here you need to be careful of the g-forces and you need to be careful with the banking elements and you really have taken all of that advice on board and you can see it in this park because the rides are just leaps and bounds above what you were doing previously so far i know we haven't finished the park yet but so far this is my favorite park that you've done yet without a doubt but we come to mystic east so we have this Asian area. I really, really want to see a full Asian themed park, guys. Probably my favourite theme in the entire game. I've barely ever seen them. Come on, somebody give me an entire Asian themed park, please. All the way through. Like Hero Academy that we spotlighted last year by Mavs Fan 4 and TJ Puffs. Like that one. That's a benchmark. Go back, watch that. I want another park like that, please. But love this. Got all the Chinese lanterns just all above you. And the two main attractions of this area being the Dragon Coaster and a Log Flume. So we have Dragon Falls. So I believe this must be the Log Flume. We'll go down the queue for that in a second. I just want to have a look at the shops just here. I like what you've done putting the bins around the back. That's a nice little touch. That's a really nice done area. I love that. You've even got the signs of the shops on the floor in front of them. Yeah, really nice little touches there. You've got more lockers again. The lockers in fitting with the theme of this area. Right, let's have a look at Dragon Falls. So I'm assuming this must be the log flume. I don't think this is the Dragon Coaster. At least I don't think it is. Can we see out the window? Yeah, that's the Log Flume. That's the Log Flume. Oh, all these people with crocodile hats. Right, another great station again, just in fitting with all the theming. Right, so let's go for a ride on the Log Flume, shall we? Enjoy, everyone.
Wow. Where to even start with that ride? Well, let's start at the beginning. It's a very good place to start. Apparently, somebody told me that the other day. I love the fact of when you come out the entrance, you've got all the foliage just around here. You've got the dragon statue just there. You come underneath the queue path. You've got the water drainage just there. And then you come underneath the exit. And then just the back of the Buddha statue with all the rocks and the foliage there. Great job. And I loved this. I loved this so much. Just up in here. And look at this. Of course I was always going to love this. It's a giant water feature. Look at it. It's so good. I mean, you're going to get soaked. You're going to get absolutely drenched on this ride. It's a good job it's a nice day. It's lovely and sunny. So you'll get dry quite quickly as you come off. But yeah, that was fantastic. You come up through the cave system, all through here. All the triggered effects just swapping from night to day. You got all the rain all dropping down on you. You really are going to get very, very wet. And then this drop here, just overlooking the entire park. Yeah, just a great, great log flume. I really enjoyed that. Really, really enjoyed that. So... Right, let's hop back over to the station. And there is the exit. So, there we go. We'll turn around and we'll come back out of here. You see the Sky Temple just off in the distance. So, like with the flat rides that are in the sci-fi area, if you're doing an Asian-themed area, you have to have the Sky Temple. Again, it's the law. You have to. You just place it down. You don't even need to theme it. It's already themed for you. Come through here. We've got another flat ride just there. You've integrated that into an Asian themed area really well. It's not a ride that I would normally associate with the Asian theme, but you've integrated it fantastically. You've got more shops over here again. You can just see the dragon coaster going off overhead. So let's work our way towards that, shall we? So that is Samurai, so I recognise that sign. That is a Mavs Fan 4 sign, and that's one that he did for the Hero Academy. So where's the entrance? Oh, is it not? That's Block of Toilets. Where's the entrance for that? Oh, Samurai is the flat ride. So where's the entrance for the Dragon Coaster? Have I already walked past it? Ah, it's down here. Right. No, that's the Sky Temple. Okay. Zoom out time. Where's the station for the Dragon Coaster then? It must be in there. Uh, um, I can't find it. Where is it? Why am I lost? People are probably pointing at the screen like, My, it's right there. What are you doing? What? Where is it? Do you know what? I'm proper cheating this. Let's follow the track. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Ignore me. I was having a moment. All right. Leave me alone. I'm okay. I promise. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right. So we'll come over this bridge towards Dragon's Fury. I feel like you tricked me, I'm not going to lie. It just made sense for it to be around there. I can't be the only person that thought the station would have been around there, surely. We've got the log flume that comes down the waterfall. I like this building over here. With all the bells inside. Yeah, that's a great building. One thing I didn't touch upon when just having a look at that log flume is that buddha statue and that was done by nh99 that is fantastic yep great job by nh99 he does some of the most amazing work for the console but right let's start working our way over towards dragon's fury feel a bit foolish now not gonna lie but i feel foolish most of the time so it's not really a an unusual feeling for me i make a fool of myself quite often it's normal 
So we have Dragon's Co uh, Dragon's Fury, which is a Bacoma family coaster, a dragon coaster. So let's walk down the queue path. Nice foliage all the way around here. And a great station in fitting with the theme. So let's hop for a ride on this then, shall we? Enjoy! I do have one big critique of that ride. The station is in the wrong place. It should definitely be over there to save confusion. <laughs> because you have idiots like me walking around trying to find it. But no, joking aside, I think that was absolutely fantastic. I think that was really, really well done. A great ride for the whole family. Quite a long duration for a Vacoma family coaster also. But really well done. Very smooth, very enjoyable. Lots to see and do. Great theming. Really, really good ride. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So, we'll hop out the exit and come down here. So we'll come back onto Main Street. Now, rather than walk straight over to the final area of the park, we do also have a car ride just to the right here so let's have a quick look at this love the sight line in the back that building is such a good centerpiece of that area this whole area it looks so good but we need to find the queue for this so we have the planko autos so oh look at this oh my days Oh, I'm looking forward to going on this now. Right, let's hop on these cars then, shall we? Enjoy!
that was absolutely beautiful so tranquil so relaxing the foliage work and the paint tool around here done to absolute perfection and all the sound effects with the birds it was just so calming great great ride and you come around a water feature there's so much water in this park i love it i swear every single ride has got water in it at some point it's almost like you made this park with me in mind it really is it's like how can i make matty happy in a park let's just put water everywhere and tick all the boxes that's it you've done it you've done it foliage paint tool water features equals one matty happy mon matty happy <laughs> <laughs> one happy matty even oh my day you know when them spotlights just don't seem to flow that that's one of them today and you know why i think i know why the spotlight hasn't gone quite right it's because when i came into the park i didn't turn left straight away i had to go straight on and then the whole spotlight has suffered purely because of it so guys when you're building your parks please think about me Please make sure that I can go left first, all right? Don't put your main attractions of the park to the left when you come in the entrance because it just messes me up and it just messes the whole spotlight up. <laughs> oh, right. So we have the research centre. We'll have a look at that in a second because that's where the Giga is. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to come down towards this uh, launch torque coaster. So sound wave. We'll go on that first. So we've got more lockers once again. Again, just like with all the other lockers in the park, just in fitting with the theme. And we have sound wave. We've got even more water just down there. Oh, hang on. We've got a rave going on down here. Is anybody else head bobbing right now? Is that just me? I feel like I need some of them glow sticks. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, look at this station. Oh, that's fantastic. I think we need to go for two rides on this. One at day, one at night, just to experience it properly. So let's hop on, shall we? Enjoy.
For me, that was the ride of the park so far. I think that was fantastic. Super smooth all the way around. I like the fact that you've got the track changing colours as you were going around. You've got a transfer track, which I have noticed throughout the park, just something I hadn't touched upon. You've got transfer tracks on all the rides. Great theming all the way around. And then this bit here. I mean, not just because it's got water in it, albeit that is a big selling point, but just this down here is fantastic. The way that you come underneath the pathing, just fantastic. I'm going the wrong way round. Hang on. We, ah, we almost got hit by the train. It's okay, don't worry. Just ignore the fact that I went the wrong way. Nobody noticed, all right? But yeah, absolutely sensational ride. I loved that. And so far the best ride of the park but we do have a giga coaster to go on so we do need to have a look at that so i like this building the laboratory here and then we've got this set piece down here so the project x research center where the police are having a shootout with zombies because as you do that's normal got more facilities just over there shops and everything oh wow look at this Look at the colouring. We've got a helipad down the queue line. Let's have a walk down, shall we? Oh, it really does feel like a laboratory as well, like a proper research area. That station is stunning. The black and the lime green really complement each other really well. So you've got that helipad just there. Project X. I love this station. I absolutely love that station. It's so sleek and elegant, yet modern and vibrant. Yeah, great job. You've got the operator just hidden away there in his own little cubicle. Oh, look at the lights. Are they changing from the lime green to the white? You've got another transfer track just over there. Is there anything down underneath? No. Right, so we have the final ride of the park, this Giga Coaster. So let's do it. Enjoy, everybody. I am so pleased that we left this area till the very end because them two coasters were without a doubt the main attractions of the park. 
the big selling point of the park and the giga in particular would have given way too much away if we have ridden that first so i'm so pleased we left that till the very end and then we could experience the ride going around the park taking it all in just a fantastic job really nice giga coaster kept up a great speed the moments of airtime were fantastic really good layout brilliant way to end a fantastic park spotlight yeah what a park i have thoroughly enjoyed this one now i'm not going to do a night pov on this park and that is for very good reason i've already had a look at this park at night and it's not supposed to be a night park there are a couple of little night elements such as the station for sound wave and then just inside there with the lights in there but as for that there's not really a lot of lighting in the park which can be forgiven you're already over the limit as it is it's a big park with lots of attractions lots of coasters and percentage was of course an issue with that so you can definitely be forgiven for not having much lighting in the park but as i said earlier in the spotlight without a shadow of a doubt your best park yet your coasters have come on leaps and bounds from the first two parks i genuinely don't think i have any feedback for any of them i think all of the brake runs coming into the stations were really well done the midpoint brake runs they were all super smooth lots of theming going on all the way around them the elements and all of them were fantastic and then going around the rest of the park just the foliage work the terrain paint the rock work just everything was done to such a high caliber and a great great park and your best of your three so far so yeah great job really really enjoyed this one you're gonna have to let me know all down below what you all think did you all enjoy this one have you seen welfare's past two parks is this his best one yet let me know down below but if you haven't already make sure to leave a like leave a subscribe if you haven't already lovely to have you around i am pushing for that 3k mark there'll be a discord link down below if you'd like to have your park spotlighted the iron gamers but i'm going to be back in a couple of days for another planet coaster spotlight take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you all very very soon bye everybody